In this lesson, we're going to take some time to learn about searching using a Java search, a file search, and a text search. So anytime I want to do a basic search, I can go to the search menu and select search, and that will bring up a search dialog. Or I can hit Control plus H, or on the Mac that would be Command H. And that will also bring up the same search dialog. And you'll note that there are a number of different search types that we can do. Remote search, file search, task search, get search, Java search, JavaScript search, and plugin search. Here we're doing the Java search, which is going to give us the ability to find our item in our code. And what we're going to look for is data file path. Essentially, we want to find that field. We want all occurrences of it, so we know everywhere it's referenced, everywhere it's declared, and basically everywhere it's even mentioned. We're going to leave the default workspace in scope, and we're going to search everywhere within our project. So let's go ahead and run the search, and we'll note that the search pops up down here, and it shows us there are seven occurrences within the workspace, in program, and in our utilities. And if we want to see it specifically, we can see there are two matches here. And we can double click that and bring up those two matches already highlighted. So we see specifically where that item is referenced. So that's a general search or a Java search. Now let's do a file search. Here again on the search menu, let's select file. And that brings up the same dialog but has file highlighted. So again, if we hit control H and just toggle to the file search, we can see that. Now here what we're looking for is a file that contains any text. So it will tell us where this text is contained. So let's just type in pass. So anywhere that pass is mentioned, let's leave it so that it's not case sensitive. This is not a regular expression. We're not searching for just the whole word. We want pass or anything like it. And essentially any string. And we'll leave the scope as our workspace. Again, if we want to replace at this point, we could. And we would be able to do that, but we're just searching. So here what we see is that pass is referenced five places in the utilities data file manipulator.html. That's in our Java doc. But also the data file manipulator.java that was already open has pass highlighted everywhere it's referenced. So we could drill into our source. And here that would be under the GUI and underneath password manager. We can see pass is referenced a couple different places there as well. And everywhere pass exists, it's highlighted. And so that's how we can do a file search to find anywhere that stuff is found within any files. If we wanted to find here in this case, pass, we saw how that worked. So finally, let's take a look at how we can do a text search. So right now I don't have anything highlighted. If I go to search text in the workspace project file or working set, I can do that. Control Alt G will bring up an automatic workspace text search, but it'll tell us it could not evaluate the text selection because nothing is selected. So let's go ahead and select the entire word passwords and hit control alt G and we'll see that that automatically runs that text search to find anywhere passwords is typed out. Again, that was the same thing as if we had gone to text and selected workspace on the selected text. And here you can see again that search was run and we can go anywhere that we find the matches, open that up and we see passwords will be specifically highlighted for us wherever it exists in that light gray color. So that wraps up our basic look at some searching where we did some Java searching, some file searching, and some text searching.